Once a year, the next Hell Cup series makes the journey to Kansas City. This is a true sports city where fans from Kansas and Missouri brag about their ball teams and their barbecues. Today, they have come to the speedy and sparkling Kansas Speedway to brag about their favorite drivers and their championship chances. Today, somebody may have to eat their words after the Banquet 400, presented by EA Sports. Welcome back to NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup as we are in the third or fourth race of the chase and the green flag is out and we are underway for 32 laps here at Kansas Speedway. And now I can jump off the start but it's, a, it's okay because I saw Jeff Gordon I think starting 14th so Meyer back in traffic a little bit so that'll help me. Also, also what help me is uh, getting 5 bonus points for leading a lap. Which I'm hoping to do, but not this lap, because Dale Jr. got a run on the outside. I apparently went 4 wide because Vickers decided to dive down in there. And I ramped in Brendan. Cool. Uh, Jr. leads lap 1. He got 5 bonus points, and he's in the chase, so that's uh, trouble. Immediately. And the car is tight, slipping up the track. Cool. Vickers to the lead. If he can stay there, that'd be nice. That Newman's gonna take the lead here, it looks like, coming off four. Yep. <coughs> that good run on... Freaking Junior, wow. I wasn't expecting that. He, like, literally, like, just came down into me. I, I don't know. Either that or I came down to him. Pretty sure Junior fans were like, you came up into him! Those Junior fans aren't gonna be happy. Um, Alright. Sell, gonna sell in third right now, and hope that Vickers uh, gets the lead back, even though I'm not even let a lap. That last lap. Oh my goodness, it's tight. If the car wasn't so tight, I'd be able to, I'd be able to keep pace them and like maybe catch them and everything. But no, they'd probably pass them if it wasn't so damn tight. So terrible turning, like. I'd like to loosen it up a little bit, but I know if, it, if I do, at the end of the run, it's going to be worse. How long can I hold off Michael Walter for? Probably not too long, because I'm freaking sliding and everything. God, that sucks. God, this stinks right now. This car is not going to... This car does not like to turn at all. I don't know what else to do about it. Vickers is like losing it right now, but I can't get by him on the inside right there in the throw three and four because I was freaking plowing tight. So what you get for trying to pin me down to the bottom right there, and now you're gonna cross me over because I can't freaking hold the bottom lane. Because I had to take a freaking narrow entry into turn one. And now Newman's driving away. Cool. It's awesome I get the freaking pole and I haven't let a freaking lap. And Junior's coming back for revenge on me. Nice. Dude, I can take a little bit of a wider entry into turn one this time. And it still won't hold the bottom. At least hang on to second off of two here. Yes, thank god. Ah, ah, I hit the apron, that's not good. I ran down the apron and that's what oh. I ran down the apron and I couldn't Oh my god. I thought I thought Vickers was clear, god damn it. Jeez. I gotta find some way to catch Newman. Wow, I actually stuck to the 1 and 2 there. Why well, couldn't I have done that every other freaking lap? Was that because I was trying to pass Vickers? Or was it... I don't know. Narrow en the narrow entry to turn... To the turn? I there's a lot of, like... Uh, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for, but there's, like... A lot of different things that account for, like, a good entry to turn in the turn. Such as being able to make it a wide entry. Like I did right there, but it's still freaking tight. 
I never got to the bottom of the track and I left the bottom wide open for Dale Jr. And I freaking ran down him again. There we go. <clears throat> wow. DEI sandwich, anybody? Um, oh my god, Jr., don't freaking shove me through the middle of the corner like, like that. I know, you, I know you're pissed at me, but seriously, don't freaking do that. We're both in the chase. We, you should know better. And I can't hold the bottom lane. Cool. Sl slip all the way to the freaking wall. Great. I'm surprised me and holding it for so long, it's ridiculous. I'm surprised I, I held on in the top 5 for as long as I did. Jeff Gordon's up here in the top 10 now. Crip Bush ran into the wall back there, I saw that in the mirror. There's no one catching Newman at this point, unless Newman's picker screws up and everything. This car is just plowing tight, it's terrible. I, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do with it when I go down the road. A lot of things I could try, but I don't think it's gonna work. I can hit the wall again. Damn it, I think Kendall's all the way down there already. And I spun out. Cool. I didn't think Kendall was already is still down. I didn't think Kendall was a, gonna fall Johnson and Gordon. That was. Oh my god. I, that was... Uh... See, the spires need to be better. In... I wish the spires were better in this game. Like, telling me, like... I'm, I need I need to pay, by the way. I'm just gonna pay. I don't know what else to do. My car is just terrible. But the pit crews... Um... Uh, yeah, I'll do that. We'll do that. The pit crews need to... No, not the pit crews. The spotters need to be able to tell me... Uh, if there's more cars coming on the inside, so I don't have to, so I don't dive it down low like that, like. I guess what spiders in real life do, they would be like. They would, they would have told me that Kenzel was still coming. Like, in real life. And I, but I didn't know, because the spiders aren't that good in this game. So I had no clue whatsoever. At this point, I'm gonna be, it's gonna be like Dover again, trying to play a fuel mileage game. For me, I can't. I can't figure out anything else. This li literally, this chase has been based off of luck for me right now. I'm literally just borderline lucky right now, trying to win this uh, damn chase and only spend the races I run in. Green flag. I should make it on fuel from here. Not much of a problem. So I'm. Just, I'm just. I, I'm gonna hang back a little bit. I'm gonna hang back quite a bit on these guys. I don't feel like trying to race these guys right now. Just manage my tires and everything. I will try to save fuel though, that's for sure, just in case. And we got a lot of cars hanging pit road now. That's interesting. Very okay, long slip got slid up by all of them going down pit road. I'm good. We're doing fine. We're fine. We're fine. This is the strategy I'm playing. It's like over all over again because I don't know what else to do. This is, this literally is over all over again. I don't know what else to. I don't know what else I could do. I just at this point I'm just gonna try not to wreck the car. And if uh, there's cars coming out around me. I'm gonna try to let him go as best I can. Because obviously I'm not racing them. Oh, I hit the wall, cool. Sick! Sick, Kevin. You freaking ran into the wall in turn one. Because you couldn't turn- because you didn't turn it right away. Because you more concerned about saving fuel or anything else. And I forgot to do my armor lap, uh... To honor Lombard Dad, so let's just do it right now. As, uh... More cars are paying, so... I'm lap right here for Lumbar Dad.
I know I forget a few times about the armor about the armor left for Lombard Dead. That's pretty ridiculous, but hey, <clears throat> whatever. I'm on the wall again. Don't no, me, Jared. Thank you. And you too, uh, McMurray. I almost said case in here because I'm thinking mask of PSP. I don't know why. I finally led my first lap because I, and I, even though I started from the pole, you don't get five bonus points right away if you're starting on pole. <sighs> Wow, that's close. Murray almost ran down the biffle there. Definitely pulling away from the field here. At least I uh, have a big lead, I mean. Now the question is, can I make it on field? Everyone else can because they pit it on under the green flag and they know they can make it. So the question is, can I make it? What about Stewart's pass? What about Stewart's head, Johnson? You know, Stewart's not even in the shoals. Hey, that's kind of. That must be disappointing to know that Stewart's not in the chase here, isn't it? That's pretty ridiculous, guys. Whoa, no. I ran up in the Sadler. Sadler go by, Sadler go by. I'm just plowing tight. And loose and everything. This car is terrible right now. But if I can hang on to it and save enough fuel, I can. I'll be fine. Gonna run up high. Then go and then go low. Cause I'd, ra I'd rather run the bottom lane than the top lane. Obviously. I just, I'd rather not screw up uh, anything here. Right, roll through the corner. There we go. Tight, tight, tight. I don't know if we can go by on the outside though, I think. If we can if I can just hang out to the bottom here. Yeah. It's getting stupid tight now. Plow I don't know, I don't know, I'm I feel like I feel like stupid tight is worse than plowing tight. Yeah, this is just stupid tight. I can't go. I can't. I'm like, say I'm still saving fuel, but at the same time, I'm, but I'm still trying to turn the car and it won't turn. So it's a stupid tight. Firing tight was was better because it's just it actually will turn, but still hold on as well. So I'm halfway on gas with six and a half laps to go. I should be fine. I'm gonna keep saving though, just in case something goes wrong. You have to run like a couple extra laps or something, I hope not, to be honest. Oh god. That was close. Okay. Go by, go by. Only a couple more cars are behind me at this point, and they can just. Relax with it for now. Five to go. This is li literally like this. This race at Dover, I've been lucky on when when the caution came out, and I didn't, and I didn't mean for this caution that happened today. <coughs> Excuse me. That's only like the second time ever. I think. Excuse me. Okay. Um, but anyway, this uh, this seems like it's only been like, like this race and the Dover race. I've been lucky because for when the caution flew, and I'm really out of control. What when the cautions flew, flew? I didn't mean for the caution in today's race to happen at all. Like Kenza was down there, I didn't know. So it's just been it's been it's, been, it's just been luck throughout this uh, chase so far, really. If 
long as this car holds the bottom through the corners, that'll be fine. It's weird because when you start going into the corner and you're going at a pretty high rate of speed, it seems like you can keep it pulling the ball throughout the entire corner, but then it doesn't. Then it like slips up. It's it's pretty crazy. Three to go. You're gonna go by, go by on the outside. Oh god. Oh, do not, do not screw that up. And I turned off putt because I was because of what happened there. But that 1.1 car, whatever it was. I'd rather have them both go by. I'd rather have these last two cars go by me and we'll just figure it out from there. Leads down to about 15 and a half seconds. That's start finish line. Two to go. My goodness. Alright. There is one more car that needs to pass me. I will let him do that. Whenever possible. Perhaps I'm putting four here if we can go to the outside. Thank you. I had a big enough lead, I might as well. Save enough fuel for sure. Looks like. White flag, one to go! Fuel, fuel strategy paid off again, it looks like. I was gonna screw up uh, this last lap. A little low on fuel, but should be fine. Right in front just got worn. That should be fine as well. I'm still saving fuel because I want enough for a burnout this time. Not, but not, not like Las Vegas. Off turn four. First ever Kansas win with in the bank with 400. Woo! Oh yeah. All right. First off, a little bit of burnout. A little bit of some, a little bit of burnout for the fans, and then. Go a lap backwards for a shave to Lombard Dad. Hey, that was nice right there. Alright, let's take that lap around for Lombard Dad. Ah. What a wild what a wild race. Again, struggling to hang on in the car. Then caution came out. Not not on purpose, obviously. It, it was an accident for sure. I wasn't expecting Ken to be down there, as I said. But it just happened. I thought it was just Gordon and Johnson going by me, and, and I could just get by him and draft them. And then here comes Ken out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting him, and I just he, he just wrecked. So then I decided, okay, we'll tent, we'll get some tires and fuel. Keep it made to the end. Ha which happened, fuel strategy paid off once more. Thank goodness. Wow. For Lombard Dad, I uh that that's gonna extend the points lead for me for sure. Now the question is by how much? Hopefully it's a good margin and it's a margin good enough where I don't have to worry about Atlanta and Homestead. Because those are probably my two worst tracks for this uh for this uh chase. Honestly, every air track I think I'll do pretty, pretty good at. Alright, back to my pit box. Best I can. And where is it? Right past the 29, right here. There you go. <laughs> they just ended it right there. As I, they just ended the, my ground celebration as I, my celebration as I was doing that. So <laughs> nice. All right, I was about to end it anyway. So I win. Ryan in the second. Daniel Martinez third. Mac in the fourth. Kurt Busch fifth. Five on six. Mark Martin seventh. Jeff Gordon eighth. Kevin Mark ninth. And Ricky Rudd runs out the top ten. Did anyone follow this race? No, that's pretty good. Newman led half the laps. Oh, they're, all, they're only three leaders. Wow. Me, Newman, and Junior. That's pretty crazy. Alright, so... Good race. Victory lane. For the sixth time this season, and the phone just went off. Cool. Uh, hold on, guys. I, I don't know why the phone's going off, so I'll be back. Alright, the new, the new point standings, and... 
I have kept the points lead out of my win, and I am now 50 points ahead of Jeff Gordon. Atkins is third, 56 back. The Hunter Jr. is fourth, 83 back. And Countermark is fifth, 104 back. Dale Jarrett is sixth, 146 back. Ryan Newman is seventh, 170 back. Kirk Bush is eighth, 209 back. Jimmy Johnson is ninth, 220 back. And Rusty Wallace is tenth in points, 284 back. That is the chase standings. Obviously, as you can see, 11th is too far out. Tony Stewart stinks for him, but what can you do? I mean, it just. Things happen. Alright. The next race is at Lowe's Morris Speedway in Concord, North Carolina for running the UAW GM Quality 500. I will see you guys in Charlotte.